In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Welcome to Our Lady Loves You. My name is Father Zachary of the Mother of God, and we are presenting these episodes so that you can become the saint that you're created to be in God's love. And today, we will talk about the holy sacrifice of the Mass. The one Mass, the one sacrifice of Jesus Christ on the cross. His saving act of love. There's only one Mass, there's only one priest, this Mass is represented, represented in an unbloody way all around the world at every moment of time in the Catholic Church in the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass. Because God deserves praise and worship at all moments of our existence. And this prepares us to give Him praise and glory for all eternity. As always, we begin with prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Our Lady of the Most Holy Trinity, pray for us. All you holy angels and saints of God, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. This prayer to our Father is most appropriate in this first year of formation, as we come to recognize God as our Father, Our Lady helps us relate to God our Father. We recognize that we were created out of love, a love that flows from our Father's love, manifested in Jesus Christ, in the Mass, in the power of the Holy Spirit. We come together as church, as God's family, that's why we gather for the Mass. We're a family. Now, last month we talked about liturgy is life. I urge you all to turn to the Catechism of the Catholic Church, part two of the four parts that describes the beauty of the liturgy. That the liturgy is basically a Trinitarian work where the plan of God unfolds. Does that sound familiar? the things we talked about day one and continue to reinforce in formation as we're formed every moment of our life into Christ by the Holy Spirit and our Blessed Mother. It states in the Catechism of the Catholic Church, section 1077 and forward, that the Father is the source and the goal of the liturgy. How appropriate for this first year of formation. We also see Christ's work in the liturgy. Christ, the eternal high priest. There's one priest at at every mass. We see Christ, the priest. The priest stands in persona Christi, in the person of Christ. He is the eternal high priest who establishes the new and everlasting covenant, that covenant of love that brings us back into the communion of the Trinity. The Holy Spirit and the Church in the liturgy is described in the Catechism of the Catholic Church. We want to see the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass from the eyes of our Blessed Mother. She who stood at the foot of the cross on Calvary, interceding on our behalf that we would recognize and embrace the sacrifice of Christ, to enter into Christ, Christ who was lifted up on the cross, and he says, when I am lifted up, I will draw all to myself, 
so that all may know the Father in the Holy Spirit. Christ on the cross offers himself to the Father in the Holy Spirit. The Mass is basically about two movements, two principal movements. The first principal movement is to glorify the Father. We don't start with ourselves. We start with what Christ is doing in the Holy Spirit. Our Blessed Mother will help us understand this reality. We're going to Mass to glorify the Father, to offer Him everything we have received from Him. In Christ, we offer ourselves as a holy and acceptable sacrifice. We come to the holy sacrifice of the Mass. The Mass is a sacrifice of love, a memorial of the passion, death, and resurrection and ascension of Christ. We come together around the Eucharistic table to remember, to be strengthened, to go forward. The word Mass comes from missio, a form of missio, which means to be sent in Latin, is misa. At the end of the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass, in Latin they used to say, ita misa est. Go forth! Take the Eucharist into your lives and make your lives fruitful. Make your lives a sacrifice of praise to the Trinity. In fact, in the Mass, as we glorify the Father, this is what Christ is doing. He's gathering all of creation, renewing all of creation, and lifting it up to the Father in the Holy Spirit so that all of our lives can be a hymn of praise to the Most Holy Trinity. That's our call. Our lives are to be a hymn of praise to the Most Holy Trinity. Jesus gathers all. That's what a communion is, this gathering into one. And then lifting it up to the communion of the Trinity. And then there's a communion between God and man. Heaven meets earth. In this communion, then the second principal action of the liturgy takes place called sanctification. This is where the graces come from heaven into our lives to help us live holy lives. We talked about the universal call to holiness. The first principal action is to glorify God. And then from this action flows sanctification into our lives so we can live holy lives. We talked about the blessedness of living a holy life. We come together in a community because we recognize we are a redeemed people. God redeemed us as a people, as a family of our Father. We come together as a community. We need each other. We must gather as a community. And then God can communicate His life to us in the Word and the Eucharist. And then giving the gift of himself to us if we're in a state of grace. We receive Holy Communion and go forth to bring forth communion because communion begets communion. Communion begets communion. And God's plan is communion. When we come to the church, we enter the church and we place our hand in the holy water and we make the sign of the cross in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Such a profound action. The holy water reminds us of our baptism. This communion of the Trinitarian life we received by Jesus' saving act on the cross. Remember in this crucifix, there's a piece of the wood of the cross on which Jesus died for us. His sacred blood touched this cross. At the holy sacrifice of the Mass, if you're in a state of grace, you can receive His precious blood, His body, blood, soul, and divinity. He makes Himself really, truly, and substantially present. We enter the church with reverence. We recognize Jesus is present in the tabernacle. We make the sign of the cross. We remind ourselves that we belong to God. And everything we do is in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. 
is in this sacred name. And we enter a sacred space. And so there's a holy silence and reverence in church. Please urge your children to have this holy silence and reverence. In fact, I, I urge you children to help your parents have that because sometimes I find the children have holy silence and reverence. But sometimes other people act as if they're just in some normal place where they can conduct a, a regular conversation. But we're in the presence of God. We're in God's house. Something special is going to happen, very special. And we ask Our Lady to enter into the holy sacrifice of the Mass. Now, before we even get to the church, we prepare. Remember, we talked about liturgy preparation. As we're coming to church, we turn off the radio in the car. We talk about the liturgy that's going to be made present to us. We prepare ourselves. The priest is preparing himself. You know how much work goes into the Mass? How much preparation? So many details. So much to help us get ready to enter into the mystery of our lives.